What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Black Ted Mosby, aka Charles. Just wanted to uh, give you some quick uh, tips on how to face the first boss of the game that you should be facing, which is the Cleric Beast. You need to beat this boss in order to gain access to the doll that helps you level up throughout the game at the Hunter's Dream. So pretty much what I tried to do, my strategy as far as how to take on this guy, it, this beast I should say, is to stay close to him, get a couple hits in, back up, make sure you keep your distance from him because that's going to be the key to this battle. Keeping your distance, knowing when to see openings to attack him, and for the most part just keep moving, go from side to side on this bridge, use it to your advantage. Uh, you can throw things at him. Uh, I think I threw a couple of uh, Molotovs at him and a couple of knives. Oh, there's a Molotov right there. So for the most part, you just want to kind of keep your distance, kind of see what his move sets are, and then get in close once he begins uh, his attack, and then just kind of dodge underneath his attacks. Get a couple hits in, back out again, reset yourself, and pretty much repeat the same process. Now, believe it or not, this is actually my very, very first attempt fighting this boss. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure I heard that, you know, this boss, everybody kind of, well not everybody, but a lot of people struggled uh, with this boss the first time facing him and didn't end up beating him the first time. I'm pretty fortunate to say I'm the one of the few uh, to beat him the first time. As you can see, he kind of picks me up and drops me down. So whenever you get close, I'm don't stay in close for too long, if you're especially if your stamina is run out. Make sure you monitor your health and your stamina in this battle because that's going to be key. And... Uh, uh, as far as getting you the key to victory in this particular battle. Now for the most part, use your gun if need be. I think it helps stagger him to some degree. You just got to make sure it's in a specific spot that you hit him with the gun. But the main thing you want to do is just dodge and roll, attack when you see openings. Now he does a leap that covers pretty much half of the bridge for the most part. So you want to make sure you stay clear of that or make sure that you know where you're at in relation to him when he's in that doing that leap in the middle of doing that jump. Uh, stay clear, don't do what I did and go in there with the wrong timing. Make sure you understand his moveset and see what you can exploit. See if there's any times in which he takes too long to recover from the move. Now here, I could have attacked him because he was kind of like in the middle of doing a, another move. It took him a while to build up, but I kind of chose the safe route. Kind of avoided him, went in for some hits there, dodged back, backed up from him. Tried to regain my stamina a little bit. Uh, get get a couple hits here and there, but for this particular series, I noticed that he was taking longer to recover. So I was like, you know what? Let me get a couple extra hits in, and then back up, recover my stamina. And I think I was getting ready to throw a knife at him at the at, at this particular juncture. Dodge underneath him. Get a couple hits in if you can. If not, then reset yourself. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Heal up. And that's pretty much the name of the game for this particular battle. Just. Get in close to him, dodge his moves, and underneath, dodge underneath his moves, I should say. Get a couple hits in quick. Uh, if your stamina runs out, back up, reset yourself, because he's very slow. So that's you can use your speed to your advantage in this particular battle. Now, this move right here, I got too greedy, got into staying too close for him for too long, and he was able to capitalize off of that by doing his little slam attack, which takes roughly... 75 to 89 well I would say 75 to 90 percent of your health depending on how far your health bar is up or how you know as far as at this particular juncture but um, for the most part just try to stay clear of him when he does any dangerous combo attacks something like that stay clear of him uh, you can exploit the attack where he kind of digs his hand in the ground like that get behind him get a couple hits in stun him if need be like right here, I think he was a little bit staggered. Uh, he took a lot longer to recover, so I got a couple extra hits in. You know, just kind of hacking away at him. You know, no, don't need to go all hard at once. Just make sure you kind of uh, take your time with this particular boss. Uh, heal up when necessary, of course. I keep saying that, but it's really, really that important. Uh, just dodge him whenever he gets a little too close to you or... Just, just make sure that you play smart for the most part. Uh, as you can see right there, he does that little attack right there. Now, you can get a couple hits in, but I just chose to stay safe. You can go in. Oh, see, watch out when he digs his arm up like that. He'll, especially when you're uh, going past him on that side. But for the most part, when he digs his arm in like that, you can attack him from the opposite side, get a couple hits in. I'm just now noticing that. Uh, for the most part, you know, he doesn't really hit that hard. 
he just has a lot of health and you just have to be patient with him not get too greedy and as you can see here I'm kind of uh, dwindling his health down uh, just stay on the offensive because obviously in this game the more hits you take when the enemy hits you you have a chance to recover your health back to some degree so just stay on the offensive for the most part and just a matter of dodging him and finishing him off and there you go so pretty much the keys to battle is just using the whole bridge to your advantage uh, pretty much just taking your time with them, attack when necessary, you'll be fine. Peace.